Are you sure it's on? Yeah. <laughs> it's um cheating over. <laughs> this is where it gets to say funny stuff. It is. It gets it's very gets to sign his house. Yeah, I think it's already far away. <laughs> <laughs> Talk Gonna to get us then a million dollars. Talk to us, James. Done. Alright, let's get your roll over towards Emma. Yeah, perfect. Get the blunt yet, James? Uh-huh. Get the blunt? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're more conscious of it, so he's trying not to say the silly things. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Someone's pressed an alarm, it's not up. Okay. That blaze look. James, relaxed? Uh, yeah, relaxed, but um, not jazz and that sort of stuff, yeah. Mm. I get more jazz, yeah. He's speaking, I know he's speaking fairly clearly. It's quite, I know that it's not comfortable for James, so. So for James, because he's a young bloke, um, his bones are quite strong, mm-hmm. and I know with previous times when we've done it, it's been quite uncomfortable for him, mm-hmm. so nice to get him nice and relaxed. Um, older people, you know, anyone above the age of 80, I don't even think about using medaz because they usually tolerate really? it really fine. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and younger than that, just small amounts usually, but young, fit guys generally um, need a bit more. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's what I thought we'll go for. The full lot straight up. How many girls was one. in the first one? Five. Just give another two and a half and we'll see how we go. Right, James, I'm just going to start cleaning your back if that's okay. Yep. Whilst that starts to take effect. So a bit of coolness on your back now. It will be cold. How are you feeling? Pretty laid back. Pretty laid back? Mm. You reckon we'd be right to start getting some local? Maybe just give the other two and a half. Mm. It's pretty stoic. <laughs> In a sense. <laughs> Not saving it for anyone else. So. No. <laughs> That'll give me extra time at the gym then. Hey. That'll give me extra time at the gym. Mm. I feel like a match coming on. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say your eyes were on. <laughs> Roll. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> you're feeling for that little bit of bony bit that sticks out. Yeah, so I guess the correct anatomical name is the posterior superior iliac spine. It's really easy to feel, so generally hands on top of the hip, thumb down, usually there. Because James is a bit taller, my thumb is probably not so long, it's just slightly further down than that, mm-hmm. but given he's such a thin lad, well built but thin lad, <laughs> it's pretty it's easy, easy to deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright James? A little bit of a sting under the skin now, okay? So sorry about this. Sorry. Yeah, I know.
just going to put a little bit deeper now as well, James. What we do is we go all the way to the bone. So I'll just put a little bit in first, get that a little bit numb. I'll give it a minute, and then I'll put some more in. So, no response. <laughs> I've matched a bit. So. <laughs> yeah. But it's a bit better than last time, so <laughs> I think he's a bit, a bit more relaxed this time. I'm going to put a little bit more local in now. As I was saying, we go all the way to the bone, and what we're trying to do by going to the bone is there's a layer which goes across the bone, which is the periosteum, and that's where the nerve fibres and everything go. So, I hope this to um, numb that pretty well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that should be pretty numb in a minute or two. Pepperazzi. <laughs> Big pun? Right, so. I missed it. Oh, <laughs> mm. So this shouldn't be sharp, James. Is that sharp? Mm. Good. It's just your little marker, is it? So it just makes a tiny little incision through the skin so that the needle goes through. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it requires a bit of extra grit and it makes it really difficult. So. All good, James? Yep. Good. So that's not sharp, is it? No. Shouldn't be. Just let me know if it is sharp. You can feel the difference when it gets through the cortex. Ooh, <laughs> okay, a little bit of a sting now, James. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. Sorry. A little bit more and we'll all be done. We've got good particles, so we don't need to do what you find. Perfect. So we're all done, James. Let's put some pressure on that. Now you can have a nice snowball. Yeah. Mm. He wanted some comedy. <laughs> we got to say for yourself, mate. <laughs> Not much to say. Not much to say? Yeah. Looking like an idiot. Looking like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're hitting the blunt too hard again, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Something like that. <laughs> Them eyes tell it all. <laughs> I need to get a selfie with the bow marrow. Oh. Thing like last year. Oh. I mean, the little lamb. Um, you want it? There's no bone in there though. There's no it? bone in there. No. No. no, I just got the marrow this time, so. Got any requests when I come back? Mackers? Try to bring those Pringles, mate. Yeah, I bought the Pringles, mate. Oh, <laughs> They're over there. You better not give them that. You might choke on them at the moment. Oh. Hey? You want them now? No. <laughs> All right. All done? All done. Perfect. I'll be back shortly. I'll chase out the blood results and stuff. Thanks, Emma. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good footage. Yeah. Don't have a look at it, do you? No, so that was unexpected. Um, obviously, you would have just seen the last video. So I went to the hospital expecting just like a normal blood test and blood count sort of stuff. And I think I might have mentioned it yesterday about the biopsy. But instead of just blood test, I had the bone marrow procedure where, um, or what they call it the bone marrow biopsy. Um, so what you would have seen in the previous video, or if you skipped it, if you're getting a bit queasy, queasy would be that, um, firstly, they sedate me with a drug called midazolam, which kind of makes me feel a bit like, um, like sleepy and kind of just like swinging around the room. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Just like daisy and like kind of sleepy and kind of you just forget the whole situation. So they sedated me. Um, they first of all gave me five grams, which is more than what they usually give anyone. But me being a, a bigger, taller person or a bigger built person, they gave me... Uh, five mils wasn't enough, so they did 7.5. That wasn't enough, so they gave me 10, which knocked me out, which kind of made me start to feel. You, I think you, I'll try and put it in that video. I haven't edited it yet or anything like that. Um, and then I put up an Instagram post detailing the procedure as well, but um, where they go into, if you just feel around, feel around the back of your hip, I can actually show you. I am in my underpants at the moment, but... If I bring this down, you've got to see the um, the bandage around there. So it's either usually there or there. Um, apologies for the underpants. Into the actual bone, so it goes pretty deep. You would have seen that, how she was pushing it quite deep into that area. Pushes that in, um, screws it into the bone. And I think when she gets to the bone, that's when you'd, you saw her screw off that little lid thing and then kind of extract some liquid with a syringe. Um, the, that's the only part that feels painful. It's kind of, it's not really, it's a very hard thing to, pain to explain. That's kind of just like the uh, release, release of pressure and it just kind of hurts as it's being extracted. And in other cases, like last year, I don't know why they do it, but um, they also, when they put the needle in, the big thick needle into the bone, they can screw it and then somehow bring bone out with it and test the bone as well. Um, but she said there's no need to do that because she got a good sample of bone marrow tissue. And then what, uh, I actually needed a bag of blood. I can't, it's actually quite hard for me to remember because that, that's what the drug's designed to do to make you forget um I, I believe one of my blood counts was a bit low so i had a bag of blood and that takes an hour to go through and i slept through the whole thing i only remember it being taken down got, got straight out of the car and then just fell onto the couch and slept from it would have been like one to about five thirty. i think after my sleep and they said that they want me to go back into hospital on the 2nd of january it's the 31st it, or it's it's like 1.30 a.m. now. It's 1.30 a.m. on the 31st of December. So it's New Year's Day in 
23 hours, if that makes sense. Not sure how the next round will go. It's the exact same protocol, but whether or not it affects me the same is, I don't know, maybe my body's got some sort of tolerance to it, but we'll find out. I think there's some fireworks, fireworks going off tonight for New Year's Eve slash day. Mm. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Hopefully you can all have a, a lovely 2016. I know I'll have a, a bit of a rough start, but it will be a good one to finish off with. And it will be... <sighs> having a lovely second half of 2016 together. Thanks.